what it is people it's Gia Genius and I'm back and um I had a few people hit me up and wanted to wanted to know how I feel about the Mike Vick situation the fighting dogs and uh I figured I'd drop a video and let you motherfuckers know how I feel about it first and foremost I want to take the race card off the table because People was playing this out to be a racial issue and oh they targeting him and going after him because he's black and blah blah blah. Fuck that. They targeting this motherfucker and going after him because he's stupid as fuck. He's making millions of dollars. He's privileged enough to play in the NFL and make millions, which is a privilege, not a right. And you can ask Maurice Claret or whatever the fuck the dude named play for Ohio State. You can ask him about that shit. Because uh, he was a for sure lottery pick. And right now he's in somebody's prison doing like four for robbing a bank. But uh, that's a different story. But Mike Vick is a dumbass. You know what I'm saying? The water bottle incident. We remember that shit. It's like he does one dumbass thing after a fucking other. And I ain't, that's some other shit. I ain't gonna speak on that. I will speak on the dog fighting shit. And it's like, um, the fact that he's been indicted to me lets me know there's been an investigation launched into the shit. And the government feels like they have enough to prove that he's involved. Um, they don't, government don't usually indict people unless they can fucking get a conviction and prove. So, the fact that he's been indicted, I think there's some heavy ass evidence about it. Him being associated with dog fighting. The NFL suspension, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? He should be suspended pending the trial. When it's all said and done, I don't think he'll be cleared of all charges. I think he will plead guilty to some wrongdoing. Won't serve no jail time, probably get probation. That's money talking. And uh, he should be suspended for the rest of the year if he's convicted on any of the dog fighting charges. And that's how I feel about it. And uh, I also want to say, Peter, you know what I'm saying? Peter's trying to get first dibs on his NFL check. And they feel like he should pay them money. Man, fuck Peter on that shit because they don't deserve a motherfucking damn a dollar from Vic, whether he's fighting dogs or not. And that's how I feel on that shit. Peter has the right message, you know, but they go around about the shit the wrong way. Oftentimes. And uh, they don't deserve none of his paychecks, whether he's fighting dogs or not. Um, can I say that Mike Vick is actually dog fighting? No, I can't say that for sure, because I've never walked up on a dog fight and was like, oh shit, that's Vic. You know what I'm saying? Um... I can't say that he's not dog fighting at the same fucking time. If I have to make an assumption, I'm gonna assume motherfuckers fighting dogs because, you know, like I said, you don't get indicted for shit usually unless you're involved in the shit and they feel like they can fucking prove it. Um, on a side note, man, the racial shit is because he's black. No, it's not because he's black. It's because he's accused and suspected of fighting dogs. If my black ass was suspected of fighting dogs, I'd be sitting down at the county right now. And uh, y'all motherfuckers would have never heard about it. Never would have made CNN. You know what I'm saying? And it wouldn't be no, oh, they got me because I'm black. If the motherfucker next door to me, the white dude, was fighting dogs next door, you know what I'm saying? He'd be sitting at the motherfucking county jail right now, sitting in that bitch, you know what I'm saying? And y'all would have never heard about it on CNN. So fuck the race card shit. Everybody always tries to make everything about race. Racism does still exist, but no, everything is not about racism. And, uh, I think Vic's in the situation he's in because his dumb ass allowed himself to be put in this situation and that's how I feel about it. 
on a side note, I kind of want to say fuck Bobby Petrino from the way he left uh, Louisville. Motherfucker signs a 10-year contract extension and says this is where he wants to be the coach. And then the Falcons offer him a coaching job and he's fucking up and gone. You know what I'm saying? A month later. Kind of want to say fuck Petrino, but I got to thank Petrino because he took Louisville to Heights. But I do kind of wonder if Petrino knew Vic was not going to be there for his first year coaching the Atlanta Falcons. Would he have made that jump? Mm. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that shit. But until then, this gives motherfucking genius, as always, giving my point of view on the shit and keeping it motherfucking real, and I'm out this bitch.